Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to talk about in this video is I'm going to do a little bit of a follow up on the Grandstream HT801 single port ATA. Now, I did a video, was it last year, the year before, a couple, couple years ago, talking about how the red phone back here is connected to my, my phone system. And we're doing that using a Grandstream HT801, which is a single port ATA, which is an analog telephone adapter. I've had a Something has happened. The video has, has become popular again. I've had a lot of questions. I've had a lot of people reach out on our contact form asking questions about the service. So let's do a real quick uh, recap here. It is a single port ATA, analog telephone adapter. So it takes an analog phone. This is probably, I think Grandstream might be the only one that supports pulse dialing, which is why I can use this. Maybe, maybe not, but I, I do know Grandstream supports the pulse dialing. It has a single line. It's got a 10 meg port. It will do SRTP, so you can encrypt the phone calls. You can do automated provisioning with it, whether you're using a Grandstream UCM or whether you're using a third party. It supports conferencing, failover. You can do faxing with it, caller ID. Here's that zero config I was talking about. Supports advanced features such as call transfer, call forward, call waiting, do not disturb, message waiting, indicator, MWI light, the light on the phone, multi-language prompts. You can change the dial plan, all these things. Now, obviously, it's a little bit harder to do some of those with an analog rotary phone. But what I wanted to talk about is people have been asking like how... How do we make this work? And maybe my, my main video wasn't clear enough. So this device right here is itself not a PBX, but needs SIP service. Now, the SIP service does not have to come from a Grandstream UCM. It can come from any PBX that supports SIP. So any PBX, name a PBX that supports SIP, actually supports SIP, not their own proprietary protocol. And you can use it with this device. You can also subscribe to a service like Telnex and program it directly into the device. device. So you don't even have to go to a local on-prem PBX for this. You could use, you could go directly to your SIP provider, whether it's Telnex, name another SIP provider. You can actually connect this directly to it. So it doesn't necessarily even need a PBX. And a lot of times when we do faxing, what we will do is we will go direct to Telnex with this. And when the phone rings, it comes in. So you could replace traditional telephone service with this. You could stick an answering machine on it with the phone behind it. And it, you know, Telnex would be your, you know, your phone provider, like whoever your local bell company is. So I just want to clarify that, that you don't necessarily need a PBX, but you can use a PBX. You just have to have some sort of SIP service coming into the device. If you've got more questions about this, let me know down in the comments. I hope that clears this up. Like I said, we can hook this to any SIP PBX. We can hook this directly to SIP service. Let me know if you've got questions about this down in the comments. Give the video a thumbs up, follow, subscribe. Go down and follow me on Twitter and TikTok. There are affiliate links below, a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, if you've got some of these, you want to get them deployed, you need some help, reach out at willyhow.com. Fill out the contact form. Someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. We'll help you get these deployed, whether it's to a PBX or whether it's directly to SIP service. And if you need any other IT consulting, uh, whether it's voice over IP, networking, security, storage, all those things, willyhow.com. All right, so I hope this cleared some of that up. And as always, I'm Willie. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you in the next video.